ready for the ultimate video challenge as these two teams go head to head with a maze of electronic obstacles for the right to face one of our game wizards in the video zone. Hold on tight. Here comes Nick Arcade. And now here's your host, the guy who keeps tripping over the court on his cordless phone. Here he is. And welcome to Nick Arcade, the ultimate video challenge. I am here today with Razi of the yellow team and Michelle of the red team who are about to play the face-off game Meteoroids. Now in this game, you have to use your photonic cannons to blast these meteors before they whiz past your view screen. Whoever has the highest score at the end of 30 seconds will get 25 points in control of Mikey, our video adventurer, to start round one. Let's get started, Michelle. Razi, grab your controllers. Ready, set, go. All right, looks like Red Team is the first on board. And then Razi pops in for the yellow team, tying it up at 22 seconds. Red Team grabbed the lead again. Took a big jump that time. We're at 15 seconds. Red Team's been hanging on to the lead throughout it. We're into the 10 second mark now. Yellow Team just picked up another point. And we're into the final second. And it looks like it's gonna be the Red Team pulling it up. Way to go, Michelle. Way back over. Let's play some more. Yeah. Michelle pulling it off. Great playing, Michelle. Hey, let's find out who's the video jocks for the day are starting off with the red team. Michelle and Robert say yo. Now, Michelle, Michelle, I have found out that, Michelle, you like to beat up your brother. Okay. Yep. Is it an older brother or a younger brother? He's younger. How much younger? By five years. You can kind of get away with that now. What about when he grows up? Well, I'll still have to beat him up. <laughs> okay. And your partner, Robert, plays on the JV football team at school. What position do you play, Robert? Uh, quarterback. Quarterback. How long have you been playing? This is my rookie year. Your rookie year. year. Well, I hope you have a good time here. Your opponents today are Rizzi and Brooke of the Yellow Team. Say hey! Now, now Razi, a little more down to earth, I guess, plays street football. Now, do you play with guys and oppose other teams in the neighborhood, or how do you do this? Yeah, we we have an apartment complex, and we just play the nearby apartment complexes. And and whoever wins gets to like you know stay there. All right. <laughs> and your partner helping you out is Brooke. Brooke play, is into night photography. Now, ex exactly what do you do? What do you take pictures of? Um, mostly the moon and like the stars and stuff. Wow, you can maybe work for NASA later on. Hey, well, have, hope you have a good time here. Everyone, welcome them to the show. Yeah. All right, all right. Hey, let's get the rule stuff out of the way. You're going to take Mikey, our video adventurer, and you're going to move him all around this screen in every direction except diagonally. Now, as you do this, you're going to run into the four Ps. We have some points, puzzles, pop quizzes, and prizes. Be careful, too, because there's an enemy up there, and if you run into him, control gets zipped over to the other team. Now, all questions in the round one are worth 25 points, and the team with the highest score at the end of the two rounds will go inside the video zone. Let's find out where Mikey's hit of the day so we can get started. Andrea, tell us where he's going. Fill up the canteens, because today, Mikey's crossing the Forgotten Desert. In round one, he'll be checking out the Stinky Sphinx, looking for some place to park his camel. But watch where you step, because not only is the sand hot, there's an angry genie who wants you to lose control. Getting Mikey past the goal is worth 50 points. Good luck to you, Phil. Hey, thank you, Andrea. Now, hey, red team, you had a great job with the face off, Michelle. You've got 25 points in control of Mikey. You get to move him first. What direction? Yeah, we're going up. Okay, Mikey's moving on up. Video repair, man. This is one of our video puzzles. Now, you know, it seems like whenever I'm sitting at home watching music videos, <laughs> my cable goes nuts. Well, take a look at this scramble video and tell me who you think the artist is. The correct answer by the first team that buzzes in will get you 25 points and control of Mikey. Hey, ready? Roll the video. <laughs> Red team. Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton, she says. Let's check it out just for verification. Bingo! He's missing you. All right. Hey, but you didn't miss those points. Your score is up to 50, and you have control still. Move Mikey again. 
I, we're going up again, I think. Mikey's going up again. A prize! You get this no matter what. Andrea, tell them what they just won. The Nico Windjammer Power Glider. Power it up, turn off the power, and glide. Power down for a smooth landing. Includes battery pack and charger. The Windjammer Power Glider from Nico. Congratulations. Congrats. Hey, hope you enjoy flying, and you get to fly, Mikey, another step further. What direction? Oh, we're going right. Mikey's heading right this time. Ooh, Sim Sim Salabim. Troll goes from you over to them. And yellow team, you get to move Mikey this time. Um, right. Mikey's going right. Video challenge! Yellow team, come over here! Riley and Brooke are cruising this way. Riley and Brooke are cruising this way. Hey, hey, how you doing, yellow team? You're at the video challenge. You get to add more points to your score and maintain control. Who's going to be playing? You're gonna be playing Brooke? Okay, Rosie, hang on to the board. Brooke, you get to choose from Act Razor, Kickmaster, Super Adventure Island, Ernest Evans, and Ghost Pilots. Which one would you like to play? Ernest Evans. Ernest Evans, head right over there. Come on over, Rosie. We're gonna play Ernest Evans now. And Ernest Evans, this is a way cool game, because Ernest Evans is this archaeologist guy, and he is like going through all of these caverns and things, using his whip, trying to destroy things in 12 different sectors. So you have to meet or beat the, the expert's challenge today, which has been set at 5,000 points in Mongolia. So you have to meet or beat that in 30 seconds. Now, Razi, you have no points on the board, but we're gonna give you up to 25 points to wager on whether or not you believe your partner can meet or beat the Wizards Challenge. You have three seconds to write down your wager. Do it now. He's writing it down. He is done. All right, hang on to it. Turn around, Brooke. Ready, set, go. Up there, all right, we're going now. Now this archaeologist guy has this whip that he has to use. It is a chain whip. And he has to put all the elements in there. There's a, there's a big worm guy that she just passed that she has to whack a few times. You can't get that with one hit. She's doing a great job. She's up above the worm guy. Excellent move. Now right now she is up to 200 points. She has to be 5,000. So, oh, the worm got her. Grab that whip. You have to restart. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Ooh, OK, hey, it looks like we ran out of time, but you did a great job in playing. Risey wagered 10 points. It's not a bad score. We're going to adjust your score and play some more. Head back over. Just the start and play some more. OK, hey, listen, time kind of ran out on you. We're going to have to take 10 points away from your zero. You're in a negative, <laughs> kind of like our deficit. Red, <laughs> Red team now has control. You get to move Mikey. What direction? Down. OK, Mikey's going down. Pop quiz! All right, I have a question for you. The correct answer will get 25 points and Mikey in their pocket. Hands on your buzzers. The, correction is, the question is about deserts, and it goes like this. What famous athlete's last name is the same name of a mini's country? Is it A, Rocket Ishmael, B, Michael Jordan, or C, Robert England? Red team. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's it. Yeah, red team. 25 more points to your score, and you still have control of the big M. You get to move him again. What direction? Left. Mikey's going left. It's a point square! 25 big old points just tie out to you. You're up to 100, and you move Mikey again. What direction? We're going down. Mikey's making a trip down under. Pop quiz! We've been here before. Hands on those buzzers. This is for 25 points of control. The Great Pyramids of Egypt have triangular size, but which is the shape of its base? Is it A, square? Yes, red team. Square. Square is it. He didn't need any more. 25 more points to you. All right, and Mikey's waiting for you to push him along. Well, never mind, I'm hearing that noise. It's telling me we're almost out of time. I get to zip Mikey straight to the goal. And we're in sudden death. Now I'm gonna ask you a question, and the correct answer to this question will get you 50 points and the goal for round one. So hands on your buzzers. Still a desert question, and it goes like this. Ancient Egyptians used a form of writing with pictures and symbols, which we call Yes, red team. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics is it. Red team, you have the goal for round one. 
All right, let's just take a peek at the old boy there and see where everything was. There's everything, surprises that you didn't get, but that is all right. Hey, red team, you have 175. Yellow team, you have negative 10, but that is all right, because yellow team, we come back. Everybody knows the points are doubled in round two. Double your pleasure, double your fun, double your chance to get done. Hey, come on back to us and see us get done.